Hey there, welcome back. This is Atul from Team K29 Academy and in this lesson we are going to look at Accelerator Cloud Service Overview. We'll look at Architecture Overview, the rack or physical hardware and virtual machines that run, the brief overview about Network Overview and then the Deployment Overview. We'll be talking about Accelerator Cloud Service. But before that, let's first understand what are the Accelerator on Cloud options. There are two options, Accelerator Cloud Service or Accelerator Clouded Customer. And Typically, when you're deploying the Exadatas, you can deploy in three models. You have typically extreme left, which is on-premise. And this is the traditional style of deploying so far you might have seen in past, where you buy Exadata of physical machine on, on for on-premise. Then you have a public cloud. This is what I'm talking about in this lesson, where you have Exadata cloud service, which is the same Exadata, but running on a subscription model on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI. And then right hand side is Exeter Clouded Customer, which is same Exeter Cloud service, but running on customer premises. So you have, or you'll be buying subscription and the hardware for a limited period of or number of years minimum, and then you run the same cloud services. So let's look at middle one Exeter Cloud service here. So this is an overview, overall architecture overview look like, and we discussed earlier in past, what is a region? And so this is, assume a region and which could be it could be US it could be London it could be uh, India it could be different geographies within geography region and within that you have a your tenancy which means your account etc that we saw earlier and in that you deploy the Exeter cloud service and then again later we'll see you have the hardware uh, infrastructure and you will have Exeter will have consist of uh, machines or multiple virtual machines and that virtual that Exadata will be talking to uh, the your other OCI services through two different type of network. One is client network, and second is backup network. And later in subsequent modules, when we go on Exadata cloud service, uh, detailed one, we'll be talking about these networks in depth uh, later. So you have the client network is mainly for your database clients, for example, your application or JDBC or SQL net, all those is a client network. And then you have a backup network and that purpose of the backup network is to do the backup. Then you have here, uh, the Exeter cloud service will be deployed within a network. We'll we see that as well. Now, this is right hand side is a interface to connect to your Exeter cloud service and you can use from a cloud operations point of view, you can use OCI console, you can use REST based APIs to connect, uh, or you also have a as such connection uh, where you can connect to these virtual machines on which Exata cloud service is running. So this is an architecture overview. You can also like you as an um, administrator. So this is, this is mainly for Oracle cloud operations team. Like they have to upgrade the firmware. They have, they don't have access to your data, but they have access to your, uh, the underlying infrastructure um, in terms of hardware, firmware upgrade, storage upgrade, etc. cetera. Uh, your Oracle cloud operations team will be work, working here. This is you as a, a DBA or your administrators using again OCA console command line interface or rest based APIs, you'll be connecting through this client network or backup network uh, here. Our backup network is mainly for backing up the databases. Then you can also have on-premise data center, which will be connecting able to connect from using either site to site VPN or using fast connect. One of these two methods. Again, we looked at in networking recap when we looked at earlier. So this is an architecture overview. Now let's look at uh, the rack overview of Exadata cloud service. So typically um, you have a number of virtual machines. So if you see here, it's a virtual machine one, virtual machine two, and on that virtual machine, you can run multiple databases. So when you're creating a Exata cloud service, you have, you can provision or expand up to 32 database servers. Uh, so these are, when I say database servers are actually the machines, you can expand them and within on when you, and then you can deploy the databases. Um, and when you say I'm deploying the database on uh, Exeter Cloud Service, they'll be running on all the virtual machines. And you can say on, you, you can configure then, um, you can start or shut down on individual virtual machines. But typically when you're saying databases, you're running this databases on all of these virtual machines that you've configured. Now below that, there's a storage servers, which is um, 
can expand up to 64 uh, storage servers so you can you can start with minimal and add more and more and this is we are talking about the one of the latest one x8 uh, or m onwards this i'm talking about i think um, late 2021 early 2022 before that it was fixed on x7 and some model of x8 as well so in that quarter rack half rack or full rack you were only able to do uh, two node four node and eight node that has been changed now on the latest versions where you can do or scale it up it start with minimal and scale up to 32 database servers or 64 storage servers then as i said earlier there'll be client network and backup network we'll be talking about that later now in terms of who is going to manage what now bottom you see storage this is where all the storage storage or the data is stored then you have a compute which is nothing but your virtual machines are using hypervisor and all this is managed by the oracle then on top of these or this is hypervisor compute hardware on top of this hypervisor or, or using this hypervisor on these hardware you run virtual machines and these virtual machines on excel data will be managed by you as a customer and on top of these virtual machines you have databases installed and configured again managed by you and then on these databases you have the data and schema so till from here all the way it's all managed by uh, the customers and the hypervisor and below is all managed by oracle team remotely as we saw in one of the architectures earlier then from a network overview point of view again as i said we'll go into these network in detail um, in the subsequent excel data cloud service module so you have outside here cloud region that is the network we call vcn we looked at one of the briefly vcn and that vcn you will have you can deploy that excel data cloud service either in a public subnet or private subnet ideally you will keep private subnet and within private subnet you will be doing two type of network one is called as client network that you see here and client network is where private ne uh, client network this is mainly for your database clients like your sql plus or gdbc or odbc and etc and the backup network is mainly for backing up these databases onto the object storage through something called a service gateway as we briefly looked at into the networking recap in one of the previous lessons here so from an outside point of view if you want to your any application running either on internet or running on your on-premise data centers or within this oci it will be using this client network to connect and if it is running over the internet or on-premise you can either use site-to-site -site vpn or fast connect to come internal to this client network and that in turn will go and connect to this database backups it'll be going from here onto these backups and so that's on a brief network overview and then overall database or excel data deployment model if you need to look in you have the complete a region and in that region you have a availability domain and i'm talking about in a region where you have one availability domain so you have availability domain and you have the excel data are uh, running on or one availability domain here and then you have this is your primary exa data with multiple virtual machines running on that and then you can what you can do is you can have a standby database if you have multiple availability domains in that region you'll be preferably deploying that on a second availability domain in this case here diagram the region that we have is only one availability domain so you'll be putting your primary and standby on the same availability domain and yes there is a uh, there's a single point of when it's a single point of if your whole availability domain goes down then there's a challenge so what you can do is you can either deploy the standby in a different region altogether as well so depending on the limitations that oracle cloud have in terms of whether it's a single availability domain or multiple availability domain or you can deploy either on um, a, a, you can also deploy that on uh, across regions so you'll be having you'll be deploying two extra data db systems one for primary and one for standby um, so this is in a deployment architecture so just to do a quick recap like you have exeter cloud service deployment in which you deploy this is the architecture level we, our architecture overview we covered where you look how you how the oracle cloud operations team connect and how you as a customer will be connecting to these exeter database machines the virtual machines and then the storage servers which are expendable um, virtual machines up to 32 and storage servers up to 64 also these who manages what so internal fabric storage compute hypervisor is all managed by oracle 
and you as a customer will be managing virtual machines databases and schema that means you'll be patching the virtual machines images uh, databases etc as well and this is a network where you have a uh, client network and a backup network and you deploy the data exadata like primary and standby and again standby is totally optional if you want high available disaster recovery then you'll be deploying the standby with that this is atul from team k academy and in the next lesson we are going to look at exadata clouded customer well that's me atul from team k tuning academy talking about exa data cloud service that's exa cs and exa data clouded customer that's exa cc if you want to know more other things related to these two topics and would like to also see a eight week roadmap that we recommend everyone right from a complete beginner on exa data cloud service or exa data Exa data clouded customer, then check it out by going to k20academy.com forward slash exacs01. In this link, I've given other uh, other documents and also link to other useful blogs related to Exa data cloud service and Exa data clouded customer. With that, Atul from Team Keto Academy, I'll see you in another video.